Security measures in Nigeria. This was 1992. 1992. And the modest man with modest education, doing modest business, just saw that there was a law in the television, uh, which was just very few in Nigeria then. Then television has not been liberalized. And so he thought he could do, he had only a few films in Yoruba language, one of the major languages in Nigeria. But he decided at some point that I have to find something out in my language. That language was evil, and it was a time that there was unemployment. A couple of young people, youth, who had left school, theater students, theater graduates, film graduates, mass communication, most of them working around television houses, trying to take part in drama productions, in independent productions. He gathered all of them together and did a film that was called Living in Bondage, released in September 1992. Now, it was expected to be just another ordinary uh, uh, language film. But it turned out to break all language barriers and became a huge success in Nigeria. Now with this, the young people who were spending time in television houses just thought perhaps that there was a future here. So they decided to take a plunge. A plunge because they didn't know what, had, what was in stock for them. But that's the story of now. From the first film, these young people came together to begin to make films. One of the persons that made the follow-up films is here. Green, one of the films that was called then, uh, what was that title? Um, Fatal Desire, Domitila, and then this by 1994, two years later, was doing Breaking Point. Within the space of six months, Nollywood was, what later became known as Nollywood, was producing 10, 20 films in a week. And within the space of two years, it was going 50. By the, at its height, they were churning out 90 films and 100 films. In, in a way, and so an industry that will become a fetching symbol of the spirit, the irrepressible spirit of the Nigerian people was born. That's the story, if not. All right, thank you.